Hi, my name is Tony Rizzuto. I've been a financial advisor for over 32 years. What I know is that understanding how much life insurance you should have is an important part of the financial planning process. As a matter of fact, I was only 19 years old when my father passed away and life insurance was a large part of the reason I was able to stay in college. Clients are always curious about how much insurance they should have. Although many people throw around random numbers, there is actually a way to calculate a number for each family. Insurance has been a focus of mine for most of my career, and there are a few important things that need to be taken into consideration. The first thing we look at is final expenses. For example, there may be outstanding income taxes that need to be paid. In addition, there may be unpaid debts, probate costs, and mortgages that need to be paid off. Making sure these funds are available for loved ones is absolutely key. When there's a premature death in the family, it's important to analyze if the family would still want to achieve certain financial goals, such as college education, or goals for a first or second home. The surviving spouse will typically have a retirement goal that will need to be funded as well. The third thing we analyze is survivor income needs. This would apply if the survivor or survivors relied on income of the deceased for their basic living needs. So, we calculate the difference between what the survivors need for the living expenses against what income is still remaining. The difference is the survivor income need. Interestingly, if you look at survivor needs, unmet goals, and final expenses, you will cover what the family needs, but you will not be replacing economic value that the deceased person brought to the family. The human life value concept deals with human capital and a person's future earnings potential. It goes beyond the needs and considers the overall financial impact of losing someone, especially the breadwinner. So as you can see, there are two ways we can calculate how much life insurance you should have. The needs-based approach and the human life value approach. While both are effective, which one is right for you is a conversation we would love to have with you. I know, calculating the proper amount of life insurance can be a confusing and uncomfortable process, but it is so important when planning for the future of your family. As you can see, there are a few different possibilities and approaches as this requires careful thought and it is not a snap decision. I'm here to answer questions about your life insurance options so that you can make sure your family is taken care of exactly the way you would want it.